Hello guys, welcome to TechBuzz. Many of you must have faced this issue once in a lifetime that you forgot the password of your Android phone and got locked out and don't have any option to unlock your phone. It may be due to many reasons, but it's a really frustrating situation. In this video, I will show you how to unlock your Android phone using your PC in just 5 minutes. So let's get started. So for removing the screen lock, we will use PassFab Android Unlocker app. PassFab Android Unlocker can help you to unlock your Android phone and can also help you to bypass Samsung factory reset protection feature. It supports most of the Android phones including latest flagship like Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's available for both Windows and Mac PC. The link of the app is mentioned in the description below. You can check the details from the link. Although this app is not free but it's worth of every penny as you can use PassFab Android Unlocker to remove screen lock like fingerprint, pattern or normal pin numbers. It can also help you to bypass FRP lock on some phones like Samsung. Before going ahead, make sure you are using the official and latest version of the app to avoid any issues. So for now, I'll select the remove screen lock option. Here you have two options, one is remove screen lock which works on 90% of the phones and next one is remove screen lock without data loss which works on some older Samsung phones only. So if you have an old phone, you can select the second option. Mine is Galaxy Note 10 on Android 11, so I'll select the first option. Next you have to connect your phone to the PC using the USB cable. As soon as the device is connected, the software will display the brand of the phone and will show what all things can be done with this process. Make sure only the phone which needs to be unlocked is connected to PC. So to go ahead, click on start. The app will ask that unlocking your phone will erase the data. Do you want to continue? Click yes. The app will verify the phone model and download the configuration file. And accordingly, it will display the procedure which you may need to follow for unlocking your phone. So on this screen, the app will display the procedure to follow in order to put your phone into recovery mode. The procedure may vary depending on your phone model and the software will guide you accordingly. So the first step is to switch off your phone. Some phones like Xiaomi or Oppo phones can be switched off directly when locked. But since this is a Samsung phone, you have to keep pressing the lock and volume down button to forcefully turn off the phone. Once your phone is turned off, press and hold the lock and volume up button till the phone logo appears and after that leave the buttons. Once the phone has entered into recovery, click next on the app. So the next steps are displayed on the screen and in the recovery mode, you can scroll through menus using the volume buttons. Now select the wipe data reset option using the lock button and the formatting process will start on the phone. Once the process is complete, go back to the main menu and select wipe cache partition. Select yes and once it is done, go back to main menu and reboot your phone. It may take some time as it is the first boot. The phone has finally booted to the welcome screen like a new device. So now you just need to set up your device by the regular method like connect it to Wi-Fi and select the necessary things. At this point, it will ask you for the last pin or pattern of your phone. Since we don't know that, we will select use Google account. If you don't know the Google account as well, then you can use remove Samsung FRP lock button in this app. So the login is complete and now just set up your device by the regular method. And if you have backed up your device earlier on the cloud, you can restore it once your phone has started. So you will not lose any important data. But keep one thing in mind that some phones may have different interface for the recovery. And although the procedure will be same on all the phones, just the looks of the menu may vary. Don't forget to follow the on-screen instructions properly to avoid any mistake as if you select any other wrong option, it may delete the partition or operating system of your phone and you will land up in a big trouble. So the setup is finally complete and the phone has booted up to the home screen. So using PassFab Android Unlocker, we have successfully bypassed the lock screen in just a few minutes. So you don't need to visit the service center to unlock your phone. You can do it yourself using the screen unlock feature of the PassFab Android Unlocker app. But this procedure has deleted all the data of my smartphone that is running on Android 11. You can download the app from the PassFab site. The link is mentioned in the description below. You can either buy a monthly, yearly or lifetime license as per your need. And you can get 30% off now if you use the coupon code which is being shown on the screen. If you have any doubts regarding the PassFab Android Unlocker app, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates on our new video uploads. Also follow me on Instagram on techbuzz.insta page and techbuzz Facebook page. We will be back with another video soon. Till then, stay tuned.